Today, I'm going to attempt to do a full face of makeup using only viral TikTok makeup hacks. I swear every single time that I go on the For You page, I see crazy, and I mean crazy, makeup hacks. And I'm always like, hmm, I wonder if these makeup hacks actually do work. And that is why I'm filming today's video because I'm going to be putting these makeup hacks to the test so you don't have to, and I'm gonna let you know if they work or if they don't work. So if you guys are excited for today's video, drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And now, let's start testing out the first makeup hack. First things first, we're gonna start off with the eyebrows. Now, when I first came across this eyebrow makeup hack, first thing first the eyebrow shape is reminding me of the 2015-2016 Anastasia Dibra Pomade Eyebrow Era mixed with the new modern eyebrow look that everyone is doing right now with the soap bar. So I have my soap bar that I use every single day. I also am going to be using the Benefit Brow Sings Pro Palette. So I'm gonna take my eyebrow brush and I'm going to mix it in with the shade that I normally use for my eyebrows. Now then I'm gonna take it and mix it with the soap bar and I'm gonna spray a little bit of my setting spray, just a little bit, not too much. Let's not get too carried away. There we go. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna start brushing the brows upwards. Ooh. Okay, I think I got a little too carried away. I'm just gonna keep brushing up. There we go. Now we're going to start shaping the eyebrow. Next, we're gonna take some concealer. I'm gonna take a small, flat brush. I'm just going to start cleaning the brows. Now I'm gonna start just blending everything downwards. We are all done with the brow. So what are we thinking? Let me get a close up of the brow because I haven't really seen what it looks like up close. Okay, I actually really like it surprisingly next time i would use less eyebrow powder it looks very clean let me know what are your thoughts i'm gonna finish off this brow off camera finish the whole eyebrow look but i have to say that for the first makeup hack i recommend it i really like it now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow now for the eyeshadow look we are going to be using an eyelash curler to create our entire eyeshadow look you're going to use this piece of your eyelash curler to create the cut crease of your eyeshadow look and you're going to take the outer piece of the eyelash curler to create a wing like this. So let's give it a try. I have my concealer here. We're gonna start prepping the eyelid. So I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to prep the entire eyelid and I'm just going to very lightly start pressing. Now that I prepped the eyelid, I'm going to be taking the eyelash curler and any eyelash curler will work. Now you take your favorite palette I have this palette from Morphe that I absolutely love, 35X No Silent Nights. So I'm gonna be using a brown shadow, like typical brown shadow to create like the cut crease look. And we're going to place this right on top of the eyelid. And I wanna start by just pressing the shadow. Now we go in and start blending in that windshield motion. This better turn out good, because if not, I'm gonna be so sick. Dead. I'm still blending. I'm low-key scared to take it off and it's gonna look horrible. One, two, three. Oh! <gasps> This is actually a really good makeup hack. Now let's attempt step number two of the makeup hack. You're going to open up your eyelash curler. You're going to use this side of the eyelash curler to create a wing. Oh my God, this looks very confusing. I'm like trying to get a good grip of it. There we go. Now, you're gonna take your angled brush, you're gonna blend it all the way to like midway of the eyelid. Here we go. Moment of truth. You know what, it might've been my fault. Maybe I put it too high. Let's bring it a little bit lower this time. Keep on blending, 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 blending. Take it off. How does that, oh, okay. That looks a little bit better. I could probably never do like a smoke wing like this and I know it sounds crazy, but I'm really bad at that. Hey, I'm gonna say that this makeup hack is a 10 out of 10. I recommend it. All right guys, before we move on to the next makeup hack, I wanna give a big shout out to Ucor for sponsoring this portion of the video. So Ucor is having a Valentine's Day event right now. I did pick up three cute pajama sets from the website. So for the first pajama set, I got this really pretty pink color. I absolutely love the color pink. So when I saw this one, I was like, okay, I have to get this one. Also, I feel like it's very Valentine's theme. Lately, these are the only pajamas that I have been wearing before I go to sleep. Love the detail that it has in the bottom of the pants. Overall, it's a 
really cute pajama set and also very comfortable to sleep in. For the next pajama set, the bottoms are shorts. I want to say the material is satin because it feels very silky, very soft, very buttery. This is the top again. It's this really pretty emerald green color. It's short sleeved. Again, it has that black line of the detail here. It has a collar, which I love. Also, the buttons all the way down. It also has this pocket here on the side. So for the last pajama set, the bottoms are also shorts. Now, these are just all plain black. It doesn't have any of the detail that the previous shorts and pants had. But the top is absolutely just like top tier. Let me show you. It's all black. It also has a collar, but it has this white border here. The buttons in the color white also with a pocket on the side. Except this one is a long sleeve top. And look at the detail. Are you kidding me? We all know that feathers are very in right now. By far, this is my favorite pajama set that I picked up. Of course, all three are really cute. Whenever I wear this one, like before to bed, I just feel like very extra. So those are the three set of pajamas that I picked up. Like I said, I have been loving and wearing the pajamas every single night. They're very cute, very comfortable, and very soft. I will leave a link down below in the description box so you can get your own pajamas. And now let's go back to the makeup pack. Now we're gonna move on to foundation. And now this is by far the craziest, and I mean craziest makeup pack that I have seen. And it's one of those makeup packs where I'm like, there's just no way that this is going to work. All you need is a cup, water, and your favorite foundation. One pump, two pumps, three pumps, four. Three and a half. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing because that's my favorite foundation. We're gonna take a foundation brush, we're gonna dip it in the water, take out the foundation, and just put it all over our face. And it's supposed to leave a very flawless foundation on the face. Let's dip it in the water and then we just mix it and take out the foundation. Yikes. I have never done anything like this before. So here we go. Here goes nothing. We're just gonna start applying it to the skin. Whoa. <laughs> How about we squeeze out the water? This is this is looking very streaky, which is what I figured was gonna happen. It's literally picking up all the foundation again and there's no more foundation. Like my skin is peeking through. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this makeup pack does not work. I'm just gonna take my old handy dandy sponge Finish off the foundation and then we'll move on to the next makeup hack. Now let's do some nose contouring. So for this contour hack, all you need is your cream contour and your two index fingers to blend out the nose contour and to create the nose contour. So I'm gonna take a small amount of the cream product, which honestly there's not much left because if you're looking for a really good creamy contour stick, this right here is the one. I'm gonna blend it with my fingers and just go down, follow the shape of my nose and then do this at the bottom okay i'm not gonna lie that looks pretty good looks pretty legit now we're going to very lightly tap with our fingers to blend in the product into the skin i think it's not bad for applying it with my fingers and blending it out with my fingers it does not look bad so i'm gonna say that this makeup hack does work now we did really good with the nose contour speaking of contour now let's move on to contouring the cheekbones so all you need is some scotch tape your favorite contour stick and all you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of the scotch tape you're going to open your mouth put it here and guide it to the side of your cheekbone perfect mm-hmm Now you take it off. Oh no. Oh no. This is like up here. And I need it like down here. It's such a harsh line too. I'd rather just go in with my contour stick and just do it like I normally would. And then just blend. That looks much better than the whole scotch tape situation. I'm going to say that this tape mouth thing going on with the contour stick does not work. We can't finish the face without some cream blush, correct? Now for this makeup hack, you are supposed to apply your cream blush in a W shape. Now that is to also add some pink undertone to your eye, brighten it up a little bit more, and also to just apply the blush in the correct spots. I'm using the whipped cream. This is Rose Macaroon Cream Blush from Kaja. By the way, Fun fact, I love using this cream blush as a lipstick. It is honestly like the prettiest shade ever. Now we're gonna go in very quickly and start blending this because something tells me that it might dry on my skin and then it's gonna be very hard to blend out. So let's just start blending everything out. Okay, but why is the blush low-key good? 
I'm gonna say that this one's a 50-50 because again, I like the way the blush looks, but I just wouldn't place it like the whole W. I'll just do here, here, and here, and we're good to go. To finish off the face, now we're going to set the under eye area. And if there is something that I struggle with so much, it is setting the under eye area because my under eye area creases so much. So I did see this makeup hack that you're supposed to blend, set, and bake your under eye area. Growing up doing my makeup, I was taught like with all the YouTube videos and everything that you're supposed to bake. Like just take the powder and just start baking and then dust it off. I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty. This is Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder in the shade Cupcake. I'm also going to be using these little puffers that I recently discovered. They are so good. These are from Amazon. I will link them down below in the description box for you guys. And they're like seven bucks for like six of them, super inexpensive. I also recently got these from Huda Beauty to set the under eye, but I'm pretty sure you can find some Amazon dupes. I'll look them up and link them down below in the description box for you. Don't worry, I got you. But now we're going to just blend, like the video said, blend. I'm gonna take the smallest little puffer. Okay, very lightly. We're just setting the under eye. Perfect, perfect. Now we're gonna take more of that Huda Beauty powder now we're gonna go in heavy and we're gonna start baking do it to the other eye this is my first time baking with this powder so wish me luck very quickly while the powder sets now we're gonna move on to a lip liner hack so i saw this makeup hack where you create a o shape in your lips with a lip liner you fill in the outer corners and you just leave the center of the circle without any lip liner, you apply a lighter lip color and it creates more fuller and plumper lips. So we're gonna give that a try. I have my Beauty Creation Spice Cocoa Lip Liner and I'm just going to take some of the product and just create an O shape. Then you take the rest of the lip liner and fill in the outer corners. Then I fill it in call me crazy but i can kind of already see that the lips look fuller or am i tripping let me know but i feel like the lips look fuller <gasps> i'm going to take some of that kaja um whipped dream rose macaroon we're just going to focus this in the center of the o shape that we just created okay so to me the lips definitely look fuller i'm going to need your help in the comments down below what do you think? But I'm gonna say that this makeup hack does work. I think the powder is done baking. I'm gonna take a brush and just very lightly start patting all the powder in. Now let me take a mirror and really see the under eye area up close. I'm not creasing at all. I think the blend, set and bake powder technique definitely does work. I'm going to apply some blush, some bronzer, some highlight off camera. Then we're gonna come back and we're going to apply some lashes, which I'm honestly not excited for that, but we're gonna give it a try. I am all done with the face. Now, before I move on to the lashes, I almost forgot that I have one more lipstick makeup hack that I wanna give a try. So for this, all you need is a clear gloss and whatever shadow color you want, and you're going to DIY your own lip gloss. So I am still debating on what shade I should use for the lip gloss because I feel like the eyes already look kind of dramatic. So I want to keep just the lips very simple. So I'm thinking of a light shimmer gloss. Okay, but Deco Days on the lips will look absolutely stunning if it actually does work. Okay, so I'm going to scrape some of the eyeshadow and try my best to put it into the tube. This tube's hole is very tiny. So it's going to be kind of hard to get everything in there. I think a little bit more should be good enough. Maybe just a little bit more, so it can be more pigmented. Now let's close the gloss, and we're just gonna do this. This looks beautiful. Look how pretty that looks. Let's apply it on the lips now. Mm, that looks very pretty. Oh yeah, I can definitely see that ColourPop shadow there. I mean, you can see it with your own eyes. This makeup hack 
it's definitely worth it. Last but not least, we have to apply our lashes. I think I have been stalling on this last makeup hack because I'm honestly quite scared that the eyelash glue is going to get in my eye. And let me just explain why. So with this makeup hack, we, I think we can all agree that applying lashes, it's very hard. So there's a makeup hack where you take your eyelash, you apply glue to the lash, you take your tweezers, you apply the lash, the bottom of your eye, close your eye and squint, and when you open, the eyelash should be already in the top of your eyelid. So there's no need to be like fixing the eyelash. It would just automatically apply to your upper lash line by itself, just by closing your eyes and squinting. I'm just really concerned that the eyelash glue is gonna get in my eyeball and it's gonna get irritated and it's just not gonna be cute and like the whole makeup look is going to be ruined and I'm just like, I'm not ready for that. I'm so scared pop it here okay and then just close open is it there oh <gasps> okay it's up there with the lashes but not like in the lash line like I needed to what if I just close do this and <laughs> what is this squint close I mean it's on the lashes but not where it should be. It looks like it's not working. Oh my God, now my lashes are glued together every single time that I close my eye. Let me try the right side now. I'm also trying to be cautious for the glue not to get in my eye. Close, squint, squint, open. Okay, <laughs> now both of my eyelids are like gluing together. I'm gonna have to say that this last makeup hack it's not worth it. Well, it looks like we successfully did an entire full face of makeup with only viral TikTok makeup hacks. We, you know, we had some little bumps throughout the ride. We had some makeup hacks that worked very good. Other makeup hacks that did not work so well for me. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you come across any makeup hacks or any makeup gadgets that you want me to put to the test, make sure to tag me on my TikTok at MakeupIPita. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts on the makeup hacks? What did you think of today's video? I want to know all about it. And also, lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all all the love and all the support and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah 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 hey, coming in yeah flex i just wanna win yeah